Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Crystal Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And I'm very excited to announce that Crystal is very generously giving one lucky winner a $250 gift card for joining the webinar. So we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the presentation. Make sure you stay tuned throughout and ask lots of questions. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Monique Ross. Monique grew up in Cape Corral, or Coral, actually, sorry, I'm not familiar with Florida, um, <laughs> but now resides in the Tampa area. She launched her extensive career in travel network, in travel, uh, working at her mother's travel agency and joined Crystal in 2016 as Strategic Business Development Manager for North, Central, and Western Florida. She's responsible for cultivating relationships and helping travel partners grow their business. Prior to joining Crystal, she held sales management positions with Star Clippers and Costa Cruises and she holds a bachelor's degree in mass communications from the University of South Florida. And with that, take it away, Monique. Thanks so much, Anna, for the introduction, and thank all of you out there in uh, webinar land for joining us for today's um, presentation and webinar on Crystal River Cruises. We like to say that we're uniquely different, and as we go through the webinar today, definitely type in any questions that may arise as we're covering all the material, because we do have a limited amount of time, and we'll be happy to cover the question and answer session at the end, and hopefully answer all of your questions efficiently. But without further ado, let's kind of get started here on all of this and whoops see we got some delays already so real quickly here um with crystal cruises we're very humbled and we're very um we feel wonderful about the fact the way that we've been embraced in the river cruise environment um crystal cruises has been around for over 30 years and up until 2016 we were strictly based on ocean and in 2016 we came out with our first river ship and now we do have four river ships that we currently sell within the u.s market and this year alone we did win an additional three 2019 Condé Nast traveler reader choice awards one including for best river ship, one for best small ship, and one for best midship. So it was kind of a trifecta. So we were doing the little happy dance over here at Crystal. And then of course, um, for the last um, awarded for 23 years at Travel and Leisure World's Best um, Awards, we've received um, additional acclaim with additional river cruise awards that we have garnered only since 2016. So we're still kind of in our infancy stages um, when we're dealing with Crystal River. And to get these awards means so much to us because it really does speak to the fact that we've been able to successfully transition from our success on ocean with the, the quality of the service and the food and the entertainment and the way that we deliver on an onboard product. And we've been able to transition that over into river as well as our yacht um, product that we have. So when we deal with um, Crystal River, we have unrivaled luxury, especially when you are thinking of all of the other river cruising um, companies in the market, and there are so many of them now. Um, Anna mentioned that I started in travel years and years ago working at you know, my mom's agency, and back when I worked in other travel agencies prior to coming to the vendor side, um, there were very, very few river cruise companies, and now there are so many. So what you need to think about when you're actually looking to sell Crystal River are those things that really make us special, and that's kind of what we're gonna highlight today, and then we're gonna go through some um, topics of some specials that we have, where we cruise, and different um, promotions that we have currently in place so that you can go out there after this webinar and successfully sell Crystal, like today. <laughs> so with the unrivaled luxury, we do have that comforting onboard experience. We continue to deliver on the six-star service of Crystal in the service end, the food, the accommodations, which once you see these, you're going to really see how that pops out at you as being very different than the other um, river products that are on the market. Um, we have an upscale casual elegance an ambiance on board. People think that, you know, because you're luxury, that you're stuffy and that you're stiff in how you um, we, how we travel, and then that you'll see very clearly is not the case. We do have an unregimented program on River, and for those of you out there that may have done River in the past on other product, you probably will notice that each day it's very set that you meet at a certain time for a um, Shorex review, you go to dinner at a certain time, you do this at a certain time, but on board Crystal, it is unregimented and it is at your discretion and at your own pace as to how you spend your time on board and your river experience. 
and we'll talk about how we also separate ourselves in the areas of entertainment. Combine all of that with the fact that we have an abundance of shore excursions um, that we also deliver upon that is all inclusive with um, the Crystal River um, product. You'll see what a great value it is. Often we don't use the terminology of value and luxury in the same sentence, but guests out there, they may be seeking luxury and they may not be afraid to pay the higher price points for everything that is inclusive to the product, but they are still looking for the value. They're looking at what they're paying and what they're getting, and not just what they're getting as far as a chart of like, okay, you're getting this and you're getting that, but they're also looking at the quality of what they're receiving. So let's kind of go through one by one the different types of benefits and the different types of bonuses that, that are going to be supplied when you put your guest on a crystal cruise. Again, we mentioned we have all these awards and so much comes from our service. Crystal, we are known for our service and that is on that personalized level of service that we present um, regardless of whether it's ocean, river, yacht or our soon to be coming expedition cruising. Our guests are greeted by name. Um, are their preferences are remembered? I'm always amazed when I step onto one of our vessels that they remember exactly, you know, my favorite cocktail or what time, you know, I how I like my tea served at, at, in dining. Um, it's those little tiny nuances that have an un, unbudgeted and unset amount applied to it for what that value is. So our staff, the moment that you step on a river cruise um, with Crystal, whether it be the Bach, the Mahler, the Debussy, or the Ravel, your guests are going to find that personalized service, making sure that all their needs are met. Um, we try to do that as well on the front end by using your SBDMs, um, our inside sales service departments, our reservations department, our onboard guest services. But once your guests get there, it's kind of like, then it turns over to the onboard staff, which we like to call our extended family um, aboard the vessels. And I think that you'll find that once your guests do cry, um, cruise on Crystal River, they're going to want to come back, and what then when they do come back, they're also going to want to know if their favorite butler's on board, if the, their favorite maitre d' is there, because they do forge those relationships and making sure all of their needs are taken care of. Um, as I mentioned, we are an all-inclusive product, so when you are selling Crystal River, you need to think in the terms of what is included with that price point. All of our beverages are included 24-7, um, whether it be your beer, your wines, your um, top shelf liquors, your coffees, your teas. We also do have our concierge um, menu of different types of additional um, wines and champagnes that can also be purchased for the more higher end connoisseurs that may travel. Um, the details to the service and never having to ask, always being asked if there's something more that the staff can do for you, that our family can do for you, those are what translate between being uh, a premium line and into luxury. You're going to find that our staff on board, a lot of these are familiar faces that came over from Ocean. Keep in mind that with our River Cruise staff, that they are under Crystal Cruises. They are our Crystal Cruise employees. They're staffed with us 365 days a year. So when we pull the ships out of the water for the winter season, our staff does not go and work for another company. They literally continue to either stay on um, payroll with Crystal working on one of our other vessels, or they're on their holiday. We're one of only three companies in the river market that have our fully funded, fully staffed ships that are with employees that are via our company on our own ships that we um, have built and created. We don't subcontract our vessels. Our staff to guest ratio, this is pretty amazing when you think about it because this just shows some of the companies that are out there that you may already be selling or you may be more familiar. We have two crew to every three guests or how I like to translate it. Translate it. We have one um, crew member for every one and a half guests, basically. And that enables us to provide that level of service. Your guests, when they step on Crystal, each staff member is dedicated to the position that they are in on board. So you're not going to have your butler serving you coffee in the dining room the next morning. Your room stewardess is not going to be washing windows the next day. Everybody is dedicated. Your, um, your massage therapists that we have on board are dedicated just to being massage therapists. And this is not a common thing that you may find um, with every river company out there.
the food. This is always my favorite slide and everyone kind of laughs at me because I am all about the food on board our ships. Our food is absolutely amazing. But with Crystal, everything is Michelin inspired and everything is fresh. We don't have freezers. We don't have prepackaged foods on board. It is not uncommon to be in town and see the chef from one of our river ships out purchasing local fresh produce and then finding those items um, put onto your plate in the evening in the most dedicated manner. Um, the food is prepared beautifully. It is served beautifully. We literally serve and set our plates with tweezers. Um, this is a picture that I love because it is absolutely true to form. Our salads, everything are done down to the minute detail. Um, we do fly our lobsters in fresh from New England and Maine. We have fresh Dover sole. But again, when your guests get on board, not only is it the variety and the choices that your guests will receive, but it is also in the quality and in the demeanor that the food is delivered. Um, you have the benefits of the um, flexible open dining in multiple restaurants. And this was a hallmark when Crystal Cruises first came out in 2016, was giving our guests choices. Our guests have those choices on the ocean. So it was very important for us as we expanded into river and yacht and other um, areas of the um, cruising world, we wanted our guests to be able to, to transition onto the other experiences and still have that same um, level of unique and customized experience once they get on board. So guests do get to dine when they want and where they want with whom they want. And what that means is a lot of companies will say that they have open dining, but it's within a very short window that you really need to be in the dining room to start your dining process. So with us, if we're open from 6 to 9 p.m., whether you show up at 6 p.m. or 9 p.m. at night, you will be served in the um, pace that you wish to be served in. And actually, our chefs and our dining staff actually prefer for everyone to be spread out more across that window of dining because it enables us in our very small kitchens on board to prepare all of this fine, fresh, locally um, harvest produce and, and, and items from the local towns to be prepared in the manner and at the caliber that we wish to have these prepared. In addition, we do have various restaurants on board. We do have our bistro, which then turns into a tapas restaurant in the evening. We have 24-hour room service. We have a 24-hour pantry um, on our ship that you can walk down at any given hour of the day and help yourself to different um, grab-and-go items, so to speak, that are um, in sync with the time of day. So breakfast, you're going to have more breakfast-type items like muesli and fresh berries. Um, at lunch, you're going to have sandwiches to grab and go, and in the evening, like dessert and evening treats. So it is a really great um, aspect of, again, you having the choice, you having the flexibility. Tables, we have a lot of tables for two. We have tables that can be put together as you meet new friends on these adventures and you want to dine with them and have the ability to do so. 24-hour um, dining and suite, as I mentioned, is yes. You'll see when you compare premium river lines, when you compare contemporary river lines, that this is not going to be what is customary on those types of product. We have a very sensitive clicker this morning. So. You have all suites in our river ships, and this is so important. 106 guests traveling in luxury, all veranda designs on um, our four vessels, and the vessels are identical. We built these from the keel up. So they're all suite ships, all king size beds, and they are true king beds. 70% of our inventory is this design. You're gonna have a king bed that faces out to what we call a panoramic um, balcony window. So what's nice with this is you push a button, the top half of your glass is going to slide down to that balcony ledge to create your balcony. You push another button and a screen goes up to create a window environment for you. My little saying is I always like to sleep with my window open, but when you're on river, you don't want to sleep with your window open because you don't want a bird perching at the edge of your bed when you wake up the next morning when you think that you are along the riverbanks. So it is definitely something that is possible to happen. So it is just one more of those nice features. Now these rooms are going to be two 253 square feet. They're going to have double vanity sinks. They have walk-in closets. All of the rooms on board, including the petites that you're going to see in a moment, also have mini fridges. They have Nespresso coffee machines. You are going to have um, the, the, the square footage that you need to travel in comfort. Um, you have the vanity section here, and then it wraps around, and then you would have those um, double 
vanity sinks and these big walk-in showers. Now keep in mind as we're going through this presentation that this is a river ship. These are larger bathrooms than you would find on many ocean-going vessels. So this is really a great additional feature that you're going to have. All of the rooms have iPads next to the, um, the beds. This is a petite suite. So you go from 253 square feet in those deluxe veranda rooms down to 188 square feet. Um, you have all of the great amenities, including those 40-inch flat screen TVs, the mini bars, the um, Nespresso machines, et cetera, in this particular suite. There are 16 of them on each river ship. These are great for singles. These are also great for guests that are really finally just dipping their toe into luxury and are being a little bit more cost conscious. Where you lose the square footage, you're not losing it in the bed, you're not losing it with that beautiful um, veranda view. You do not have a walk-in closet in the petite suite and you only have one sink in the bathroom. Just so that you're aware that those are the fundamental differences between those petites, which is the S4s and the S5s, versus the deluxe suites, suites which are the S1s and the S2s. So we also carry the largest suite suites on the river. And I say suite suites because a lot of guests will come and ask you how many suites we have on a ship. And in our business, we think, well, our entire ship is suites, which it is. And when you look at square footage, you'll find that 70% of our ship is out of a square footage that is going to be larger than even standard suites on some of the other river product. But when we talk about our CPs, um, our CSs, which are the two bedroom suites, those are starting at 500 square feet and 506 square feet, and they go up to a two bedroom at 759 square feet. So we do have the largest suites on our European rivers, keeping in mind that we do the Danube, the Mine, the Rhine, and the Mosul River. We do anything from 17 to 16 day itineraries. So when your guests are looking for the biggest and the best, definitely you need to look at those CPs on Crystal, but I do warn you, they do sell out quite quickly. So you just need to be aware of that. So you have these beautiful sitting areas, you have your separate bedroom, you have beautiful walk-in showers. Um, the walk-in showers on the um, CPs also have a built-in um, sitting bench for those um, guests that will ask for that. And I only bring that up on this call because I've literally had two guests that have reached out via their agents in the past week that were asking about these additional features. And I think it's a really great thing to share with you. Coming from the agency side, I know sometimes it's those little minute details that really make a difference with some of your guests. So keeping in mind that, again, all suites, they also have all butler service. And as we go through this, all of this is included, folks, with what your guests are paying for a crystal cruise. So we've got European butler service for every room. Your guests are able then to focus on their vacation. They're not worrying about what they need to do next or you know, if they need something delivered to the room. Everything is taken care of for them, including pack and unpack services, shoe shines, we do pressing, we do evening canapes. Guests that are going to be booked in the CPs also get complimentary pressing and laundry service. They also receive a complimentary Michelin dining experience on shore. Um, when they book their CP or their CS room. So just kind of keep that in mind as an additional feature that is included with those CPs and CSs. Spacious ships. Now keep in mind that these are long boats that are typical to any other long boat in the market at this time. But when you're talking only 106 guests, we are traveling on a vessel that normally handles 65% more guests than what we have on board. So we have 45% less guests in a relaxed, uncrowded ambiance. So here's a comparison of what we're talking average room size, ship length is the same across the board regarding the other river companies, but you see where you really have the pop in differences between square footage as well as the number of guests that are on the ships themselves. And that again leads to that extra uniquely different customized level of private service that we're able to provide our crystal guests. We talk about space. Space is so important with us and you'll find on our designs across all of our new product that we are putting out into the marketplace that we're really looking to do a design that brings the outside world in. And this is the Palm Court, which is the main gathering public area on our four Rhine class ships. And you'll notice the skylights. You'll notice to the right the 
floor to ceiling windows. So regardless of where you are on one of our ships as you're cruising down these magnificent rivers, you are not gonna miss a moment of scenery. You can stay in your room in the privacy there and watch the, the water go, the river banks go by as you're having your cappuccino delivered by your butler. You can come down and play a nice game of cards and have cocktails served here. Or of course you can go up onto the top deck, which we'll show you some images there. Regardless of how you want to um, cruise the, the waterways, the um, abilities and the options are limitless on board um, our river ships. More options for guests to personalize their vacation is also through the shore excursions in every port. In addition to the fact that, again, the beverages are included, your butler service is included, your Wi-Fi is included with those unlimited on-demand in-room movies, but you also have your shore excursions included. You can have upwards of 30 shore excursion choices on a typical seven-night Danube cruise, and that is pretty amazing. So, in each port, you're going to have a minimum of two to three excursions to choose from that are going to be complimentary. They're going to be included in the price. And then we will have upwards of four to five excursions that are still complimentary in some of the larger ports of call, some of the turn points. However, in each port, we do offer limited space, or um, I call them limited space excursions, where maybe we aren't able to offer as many spots to do something in particular. At that point, we do have an upcharge for those, but we'll find that most of our guests will be able to um, successfully um, fill their days on a typical um, crystal cruise without having to ever dip into their pockets for an optional excursion. So I also caution on how much shipboard credit you give your guests to um, spend on one of our river cruises. So we dive into the heart of Europe, we immerse ourselves into the rhythmic flow. I love all the stuff that they always put onto these slides of these greatest rivers, curated experiences ashore, providing an authentic discovery, both active and cultured. So we do have various types of excursions of discovery. We do have our wine cruises, which, you know, especially the enchanting Danube seven night itineraries. And those will allow you to, um, be able to go to different winemaking traditions and different varieties. And we have our Christmas markets, which we have some specials we'll talk about at the end of the presentation. What a great way to go to Europe, what a great time to go and take in some of the cooler weather, especially if you guys are closer in the south. We've got tulip season. We've got some amazing April voyages that we offer and be able to take in the tulip fields and the parks over Ramergau. Now I caution on this because we are extremely limited at this point. We do have a couple onesies and twosies here throughout our over Ram or gal season. So just be aware that we do and we have offered that and we continue to do different types of specials. So when we get into the discoveries, it's an unrivaled option of both inclusive and optional. We do theme them and we break them into when you go to the website, you're able to see the different excursions that are offered and we also subtitle them as to the type of theme. So whether it's a cultural discovery, something that appeals more to the tantalizing gastronomy of somebody's uh, taste buds, personal connections, those are where we're going to go and we may go to a farm and you may get up close and personal with the owners of the farm and how they make cheese or how they make wine, um, exhilarating um, adventures. Those of you that like to get more out and more active, we do have different types of bike tours that we offer. We carry 15 bikes on all of our ships and in different ports. If bikes are not in use, you also have the ability to go off and use those on your own. And then we do have the design your time customization tours, which does have an upcharge, but you can work with our river department prior for your guest in, in cultivating and customizing individual tours for their personalized needs. Personal connections, we just kind of went through that whole layout one by one. So keep those in mind as your guests are asking what there is to do and will they be bored or will they enjoy their experience immensely. We have these beautiful motor coaches. Now I'm 5'10", I'm saying this so that you can kind of get an idea on these motor coaches themselves. These motor coaches are actually coaches that would typically hold 50 plus guests on board. And these are actually customized that they hold about 36 people. So when you're sitting in the chair, you can barely even touch the seat in front of you. You've got the unlimited Wi-Fi plush carpeting, plush um, design to the, the motor coach. So when you step off the, the, the deluxeness of the river ship, you're stepping right into the deluxe of the motor coaches that are going to take you to the destination. The other thing that's important to note with that is 
our shore excursions, we try to maximize at 15 guests per excursion so that when you are going off and doing these excursions, you're not in those big piles that sometimes you see over in Europe where you got 50 people and you got a, a, a tour guide at the front with a little paddle above his head and everyone's kind of like walking like ducks through the uh, the uh, streets of Budapest and, and through Vienna. So this is just another way of personalizing the experience. It also puts you at a better pace when you do these shore excursions. We do have the youngest fleet in the industry, and that is important to note. They're all identical vessels. So it doesn't matter whether you're on the Bach, whether you're on the Debussy, they're all going to have the same internal feel um, and still deliver on that crystal service uh, that we continue to talk about. It is a relaxed atmosphere. This is a shot from the Palm Court in a different angle. There is a bar at the back. You're also gonna find our guests on board are of a variety of ages. Um, I know everyone will reach out and they'll say, well, what is your typical age bracket? We do still skew within the low to mid 60s as an average. However, especially as we've gotten into a lot more of the seven night sailings, we are definitely seeing that age bracket tick down, especially as we've added more active shore excursions and options for your guests. And we're finding that those baby boomers really are loving the aspect of getting on a river ship and not having such a structured regimented schedule once they're on board. Remember I mentioned earlier that you can go to, to eat what time you want. You're not having to show up in the Palm Court for a particular lecture session on what there's going to be to, to do in each of the shore excursions. Keeping in mind that when you're booking your shore excursions with us, we are encouraging you, you to have your guests that once the deposits are in on their river cruise to go to PCPC, our online guest engine, to go ahead and book, pre-book their shore excursions so that they can ensure that they get the experience that they want. And the baby boomers are loving the fact of this flexibility and this able to customize earlier on for once they get ashore. Um, we do have our evening entertainment. We do have signature events that we do on the delightful Danube and the Grand Europe, and we actually use the Belvedere Palace, and we do a private concert um, there, and that will be in our Vienna um, turnpoint, our Vienna port. We are now going forward taking other signature events for our other itineraries, and we're bringing these events to you on board the ship. So in the Palm Court in the evening, different types of events that we use to take shoreside we are now bringing into the comfort of your vessel so that you're able to enjoy that in a much more relaxed basis. I'm happy that we did not change our Belvedere because if you've never done the Belvedere Palace, it's an absolutely spectacular event. You go through the museum portion, you see the Kiss, the famous painting, and then you go into this beautiful concert hall and they have um, an orchestra and they have dancers and they have entertainers and, and musicians. And it's just a magical, magical evening. But we've now moved this over into our um, other river product to do different types of events there as well. Beautiful shot of our dining room. So regardless of where you are, there's that glass so that you don't feel like you're being separated from that outside world. You're not gonna miss anything regardless of where you're at. Breakfast and lunch, um, when we serve in the waterside dining room, you have the ability of doing it more as a buffet style, but I like to say with stations. We have omelet stations, we've got pasta stations. I mentioned that secondary restaurant, which is the Bistro. And the Bistro is light eats during the day, but you can also go into the Bistro at breakfast if you wanna have more of a sit down service and have like omelets or um, eggs benedict or waffles served to you table side if you didn't wanna go into the water side because you're not wanting as much food or you just wanna have a light eat served to you table side. Never forgetting you got the pantry across the way to also help you grab and go with your items. This bistro then becomes a tapas restaurant in the evening. It almost feels like you're sitting outside of a uh, European cafe having dinner because of how it's situated on the ship and then you have a tapas menu to choose from as well. So when the dining room is open, um, you are able then to have your butlers um, bring you in sweet dining. And then of course the famous vintage room. We have the vintage room on our ocean ships and that has translated over to our river product. This is a additional surcharge item on board. You can do four course 
lunches or you can do seven course dinners and these are booked once you get on board because that is when we have a better idea of when the chef depending upon ingredients and destinations when we can set up the chef's table but it's a food and wine pairing dinner and this is a great gift that if you're looking to figure out what you can give your guests as a bon voyage it is a great idea to um, do the shipboard credits and then recommend that they go ahead and and treat themselves to a vintage room dinner our pop-up bars, we do have our above board decks where the bars do sink into the deck itself, especially when we're going under those, those tight little bridges. But we have our bar service upstairs and we have plenty of comfortable um, deck chairs and shading as you're going down the river or if you just wanna catch some nice breeze and some sunlight um, as you're pulled into a city like Budapest, um, Bratislava, um, pick any of the places along those rivers. We do have plunge pools um, that are going to be enclosed off the off after the ship. You're not going to be doing Olympic-sized swimming um, laps, but it is a lovely way to unwind um, after a long day of touring in one of the cities. And we do offer massages. We do have masseuses on board, and as I mentioned earlier, they are dedicated to the positions that they hold. So we do um, hot stone, bamboo. Um, we do the Swedish massage, deep tissue. So all of that is in a additional feature on board also coming with an additional charge. Now, benefits and the tremendous benefits that they receive when you're selling Crystal. If you've got guests that have traveled other river product, the first thing they're going to say is, well, okay, well, tell me what Crystal is going to provide that I may not be getting with the other products out there. Beyond everything that I kind of already talked about, keep in mind and your selling points. If you take anything from this, jot these little pieces of information down. These are your selling points in your talk track to guess that you are trying to upsell to the Crystal product. We are an all suite, all balcony, all butler service accommodations, and that is included with their pricing. Gratuities, not only for the shipboard staff, but also for all guides and all drivers shoreside. Farm to table dining, and again, it goes back to everything is fresh. It is locally sourced. It is true farm to table. Unlimited premium beverages, including the champagnes, the fine wines, the spirits, the beers, the soft drinks, the premium coffees, the specialty teas. Um, you have unlimited soft drinks and bottled waters and sweet. And remember I said you have those mini fridges. Of course, when you have your, your butler and if there's a particular wine that we have that is included in our packages or if you like a particular beer and you want extra bottles in your um, suite, you can also have your butler have that stocked. Your room stewardess will stock that for you. You get a complimentary. Um, bottle of champagne, sparkling wine, or two bottles of wine and sweet with a 24-hour room service um, with the options available from the waterside dining room as well. Crystal destination discoveries, all those types of shore excursion choices that we've gone through, those are all complimentary um, in the shore in, in each port, plus the additional choices that they're also able to buy into. Onboard entertainment, the various enrichment programs that we're going to be offering. You've got the complimentary use of bikes in every port. Um, if we have, we do our own shore excursions as well with the bikes, you're able to utilize those in that way as well. Complimentary self-service guest laundry, unlimited Wi-Fi in the suite and throughout the vessels themselves. Complimentary transfers between the airport and ship on embarkation and debarkation days. And I do want to highlight that if your guests are coming in early, then that service is not going to be included. But if they're arriving day of or leaving day of, those are that is a feature that is going to be included. So where do we go? We actually will go from Amsterdam all the way down to Budapest. That would be on our, our Grand Europe 16-day voyages, but keeping in mind that we do the Rhine, the Mine, the Mosul, and the Danube. Now, I do want to point out one thing with the Mosul. We actually have 10-day itineraries that go round trip 10 nights from Amsterdam, and we're one of the few products, actually I think we were the only product at the time, that was doing a full 10-day all the way down on the Mosul as far as Trier. We do an overnight in Trier, and that allows you to also do a shore excursion over to Luxembourg for the day. Now for 2020, the only voyage that we still have availability for that 10 day is the Bach, which is a September 13th, 2020. And again, that is a round trip from Amsterdam 
or if your guests are interested in this because it's not something that the other cruise lines are doing, we also have these on the schedule for 2021. So again, seven to 16 day itineraries. We're gonna talk a little bit about these itinerary choices and some specials that we have in place. But the Crystal River Cruises, it is reimagined luxury river. It is across Europe and we do definitely pay attention to that detail. You're gonna find that in from the linens that we use to the toiletries that we have in the bathrooms to the absolute minute detail that your butler and your room stewardess will take care of you with. Um, we have 88% of our departures with George seven nights, which we find as we've been in doing this since only 2016, is the fact that a lot of your guests are gonna wanna do pre's and posts in the embarkation and debarkation ports. So more of your guests may not be able to do those 10 nights that I mentioned that are phenomenal, especially for the Mosul. And then we do have those 16 nights, we do have those six departures, which is going to be on the Mahler. Land extensions. We use our land extensions with pre and post cruises, and those are going to be five-star hotels, which are in the turn ports, which definitely align with what the onboard product is that your guest is going to receive. So all of these um, hotels can not only be found on the website, but they can also be found in your crystal brochure. The crystal brochure is broken into the rivers that we travel, and then in each section you will be able to see what the pre and post hotel stays are and what hotels are being utilized. And all of this can be booked um, through our Crystal Reservations Department. We also offer an extended land package um, in Prague at the Mandarin Oriental. It is a three night um, package. And we also are offering that at a reduced rate this coming year. We've actually lowered the price slightly and it is $14.99 per person. So it is a great value when you're looking at everything that you're getting in that package itself. And then we also have a two day which is going to be for Zurich using the Savoy Hotel on Bauer. And again, all of this is going to be in the brochures and online if you're writing feverishly all this information down. So let's talk a little bit about the Zurich package. Um, three, night, uh, three days, two nights, you'll have your motor coach transfer between the hotel in Zurich to the ship in Basel. The transfer is between the Zurich airport and the hotel. Two nights hotel, breakfast daily, a city tour will be included, and design your time options will also be available, and that's $11.99 per person, double occupancy. So you've got also the Prague, two nights, three days, motor coach transfers between the hotel in Prague and the ship in Regensburg. You'll have transfers between the Prague airport and the hotel, three nights at the hotel, breakfast daily, city tours, as well as design your time options um, available and $14.99 per person. An amazing, amazing hotel, the Mandarin Oriental. I want to highlight, if you guys are out there listening to this and you're thinking, I got people that are going to love this, where, now how do I get them on and where are the best deals, where are the best specials? This is just going to be a real quick highlight of some voyages that we have that um, I know we've got some good availability on and I know that we have some great pricing in place. So we have the legendary Rhine, which is going to go from Basel to Amsterdam. Um, and that will be on the Crystal Bach, and that is a May 7th departure, starting at $53.99 per person based on double occupancy. We also have the Romantic Rhine on the Bach going on August 2nd for seven nights for $47.99. Legendary Rhine, Basel to Amsterdam on the Bach, a September 6th for $57.99. And you'll see all the different towns um, that you will be doing going from one end of the river down to the other. Tulip and Windmill, love this one, the Debussy. It is the April 10th, $44.49 per person. It is going to be a round trip Amsterdam. And if you have guests that have never done um, tulip time in Amsterdam, this is definitely a bucket list, something that is a highlight. And we do have some amazing pricings that we're offering on these voyages. Whoops, we just skipped over there with that sensitive clicker. Legendary Rhine, Basel to Amsterdam on the Debussy, May 8th, $51.99. Covering places like Cologne, um, Koblenz, um, you've got um, Rudesheim, Mannheim, Strasbourg, and then into Basel. The Romantic Rhine, Amsterdam to Basel on the Debussy for May 15th. Delightful Danube. Now we're getting into the other portion of the rivers here. We have the westbound for Budapest to Regensburg. And remember that they're able to add on that Prague extension, $35.99 per person for a seven night on April 4. Regensburg to Budapest on the Mahler, May 9th, $47.99, and that is in the eastbound direction. Budapest to Amsterdam, Crystal Mahler, July 25th. 
and this is a 16 day so you got 8879 this is a great savings and this is actually highlighted in one of our promotions that I'll be showing you in a moment for our summer Europe river cruising season and this is really a great way for those that have time that have maybe never done these destinations to really encompass everything in a one shot visit when they go over delightful danube eastbound regensburg to budapest may 1st july 20 I'm sorry, June 26th, the delightful Danube eastbound from Regensburg to Budapest, Budapest to Regensburg on August 14th. And you can see these prices are amazing. Folks, keep in mind, everything is turnkey. Your guests have very little, if anything, that they're going to spend once they get on board, unless they're going to do some additional type of wine or champagne that is not included in our extensive list, or if they opt into mas a massage treatment, um, some of those optional excursions or that vintage room. For you as the Crystal Partners, because when they tell me they give me 45 minutes to talk about everything that any of our products offer, it is a very hard, very top line discussion on what we deliver. You have a wealth of information that is available to you through the Crystal Partner Resource Center or what we call the PRC. When you go to the Crystal website on the home page, if you go down to the bottom of the page, you'll see Crystal Partner Resource Center and you can log in there. From here, you're going to have everything from flyers, which I'm gonna show you some that are currently available to you via the Partner Resource Center. You're gonna have travel agent rates. You're going to have marketing materials, logos. You're going to have mini vignettes of addition, additional webinars that others in our management positions will do throughout the, the um, months. Um, Carmen Roy, our Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing does Insider Insights and if you haven't received um, those types of webinar links, you know, definitely we want to make sure you're getting that communication. Um, and those are shorter vignettes, but we have a whole library of these types of webinars and done by Walter Littlejohn, who is our Senior Vice President of, of River, um, Mark Spillane, who is our Director of Yacht and Expedition. So again, a wealth of information right at your fingertips that you can drill down on based on what you need to know based on the conversation that you're going to have with your client who's looking to buy Crystal Cruises. So we have some specials and some flyers that are out there in place for you. And what is great, if you go to our advisory website, we have these flyers for you in a fillable format. Where on this slide, you see at the bottom, it says call the 866 number. This is the travel agent version. This is what your SBDM in the market would be sending out to you for reference and for knowledge. But we've created all of these flyers where that section is left empty where you can put your own personalized information into it and be able then to send it out to your client without a call to action for them to circle back and call Crystal Cruises. We don't want them to do that. We want them to call you. We want you to get the business and we want you to be able to service your client time and time again on whether it's Crystal River, Ocean, Yacht, or Expedition. So we've got this great tool of time promotion and it we talked about some of the specials. The pricing that is in place is going to remain intact until January 8th. On January 9th, we will launch our new Book Now Savings Season, which will be um, pricing integrity for a 60-day cycle. So keep that in mind, but get in early. The prices do continue to go up as we go into each new 60-day cycle. So you don't want to miss out or delay on getting in on the front end of that. We also have the 2020 Christmas markets, and we have savings up to $2,900 per suite. We have suites that are starting as little as $30, for $99 per person. And we also, the additional special on this is on several of these Christmas market voyages, we're also offering a best available suite promotion. And what that means is we talked about the petite suites, those S4s and those S5s are 188 square foot rooms. Going into those deluxe suites, they're 253 square feet. The earlier that you book your guest, you are getting almost like what we call a run of house price, a run of ship price point. And when the day that your guest books, the best available category for your guests will be assigned to them the day that you make the booking. So the earlier that you book, the better category your guest is going to get. The less space that's on the ship, then the lower the category that we would be able to confirm under that best available suite offer. So definitely if guests want to do Christmas markets, great prices are in place and some select sailings have a best available suite offer. Speaking of the best available suite offer, we have an entire flyer 
where we've highlighted additional voyages in April of 2020, where we have the best suite promotion. Always keep an eye on your SBDMs, your sales representatives communication, because these best available suite promotions tend to be, they tend to come out about six months sometimes in advance um, of when a voyage may be offering it. And we look to see what voyages have that space that we can open this up to and successfully sell it for you and your guests. But when these pop up, you need to get in early to ensure that your guests are getting those best suite availabilities. All of these flyers, again, as a reminder, we do have on the PRC in a fillable format um, for you so that you're able to turn these into a flyer that you can communicate to your clients as well as hand out in the office or hand out at a travel show or an event that you're doing. And then we also have launched a 2020 summertime discovery special flyer. And we have everything from, from June to August, select voyages, starting as low as $49.99 per person in a petite suite. Um, you see those dates for like June 28th, um, July 3rd, um, July 24th, and then we also have a 16 day that starts at that $83.99 price point for a petite. So a plenty of great opportunities and great times of the year to go and amazing price points on what I want to unbiasedly say is a phenomenal product. So we'd love to hear from you. Our 800 number is up here, and that is the extension for our sales support at crystalcruises.com. Some of you may already be working with your local SBDM in the field. If you are, please continue to do so. If you're not sure who that is, please go ahead and, and send us a little note, and we'll make sure to put you in touch with the correct um, a, um, local representative in your market so that we can help you build your crystal business, um, whether it be on River or any of the other family of brands that we have. So I want to thank you, and I think I'm pretty, oh, look at me going on time. I'm pretty close to hitting that 45-minute mark. I want to thank you guys for your time today, and I'd like for Anna to go ahead and open it up for any questions. I'm sure that there'll be quite a few. Sure. Thank you so much for all of that information. We have some questions coming in, and I welcome them all to keep coming. Our first question is from Nancy, who is wondering if you can speak to evening entertainment on board. Thank you very much, Nancy, for the question. So what we will do is we we thoughtfully look at what our scheduling is, keeping in mind that we do a lot of overnights in ports, we do some late stays in ports. So what we'll do on evenings where we have some of the later stays is we will bring in crystal contracted entertainment. And these are um, entertainers that we use even on some of our other vessels throughout the um, company that we have. Um, and we bring on some of those local style entertainment. Remember I mentioned in the presentation about the Belvedere Palace and doing the private event at the Belvedere, and that is um, on the delightful Danubes and the Grand European um, journeys. If it's on the Rhine or if it's on one of the other voyages, we will still be giving at least one of those evenings as what we call our special or signature event, and we're bringing that entertainment now to the ship in the evening. Will we have entertainment every single evening on board? No, because often what we find is that the guests are in port and or they're coming back from late later afternoon evening excursions and eating dinner, et cetera. But we do bring on different types of entertainment throughout itineraries so that there are um, things to do in the evening. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Warren, who is wondering how many devices for complimentary Wi-Fi? Unlimited. And I speak okay. to that because I travel with a laptop and two phones, and I connect all of them. So we're good to go. <laughs> okay. And this next question is from Celia, who is wondering if you can speak to groups and what kinds of people um, they should be targeting to get on groups. Wonderful. Groups is my, one of my favorite topics. Um, I came from the group background, um, both as an agent, and I find um, – when I come to being a vendor, that a lot of my accounts that I worked with had amazing success, you know, focusing on, on group business where possible. So we, um, our group policies with um, Crystal River is a one for nine TC. We um, have a standard $125 per person shipboard credit. Um, you can also look at what your consortia amenity is. And if you would prefer to have your consortia amenity, you can opt to have the consortia amenity versus the $125 per person shipboard credit. 
Because of the size of our ships, and this is very important, we do not hold space on the vessels. So you are selling into live inventory at live pricing. And that is when the book now savings aspect becomes so important because you, you may remember or recall that I said that we have a 60 day pricing integrity. So for instance, right now, the pricing that's been in place has been in place since November 1st and will remain in place because of the holidays, we've extended it a week until January 9th. Come January 9, we will have new pricing in, in place. Not all voyages will be affected, of course. And that pricing, you know, will be locked in for at least the next 60 days. But we don't pool that inventory. If you have special groups, um, you can always talk to your SBDM. There are occasional exceptions that we make, but they are few and far between. Um, so you definitely have to be cognizant of that. If you're looking for groups, you know, it's it's no different than if you're looking for a group for anything else. You know, you're going to farm from your country clubs, your yacht clubs, your common interest groups. If you've got um, wine groups, if you've got um, cycling groups, if you have guests that, you know, are into, um, you know, different types of, of, of gourmet foods, um, you have that ability to target those individuals. Um, one thing to note with our river ships is we don't have the ability of doing a lot of private functions on board. But at only 106 guests, we do a lot of charters. And charters can sound scary if you've never done a charter before. But there are ways that um, your SBDM can work with you to make it less scary and to also um, configure in how you can get those 50 um, rooms sold on a ship and go into that charter realm where then you have more autonomy as to um, how you manage the onboard events themselves. But um, we definitely would welcome to um, assist you on booking your first um, Crystal River group and walk you through the whole process and steps. And the SBDAMs are happy to come out and do um, travel shows or group cruise nights as we call them, group evening cruise nights. Okay, wonderful. And this sort of touches on that. This next question from Jessica. She is wondering if you offer wedding packages. We don't with the wedding packages. It's not something that we have an internal department to assist on and we um, don't do wedding ceremonies on board. So that would be something that would not be able to be accommodated. Okay, got it. This next question from Dana, I believe you touched on this earlier as well. She is wondering how accessibility on board your river ships is. Our accessibility on our river ships is no different than the accessibility on any other river ship. It's really not that accessible. Um, and what I mean by that is um, they are long boats, so they have narrow hallways. Um, we do not, if someone is confined to a wheelchair, it is not going to work for them simply because they're not going to be able to maneuver around the ship, nor are they going to be able to get on and off the ship with the gangways. And keeping in mind that when you come into a port of call on the river, you are tethering or tying up to other river ships. They call them stacking up against the pier. And it really doesn't matter whether you own your pier or you don't own your pier. It matters the order that the ships come in to each port along the river as to how you're stacked up. You could be stacked two, three deep off of the port, um, off of the pier, and you are going to have to walk across three ships possibly to get to the pier. And each platform, because each ship is designed slightly different, may mean that you have to walk up and around, you may have to walk through another ship to get to the next ship to get to the pier. So if you've got guests that um, have a lot of mobility issues, it may not be the right product for them. I would definitely you know, then steer you to one of our ocean ships even. Um, collapsible wheelchairs. We have had guests that have collapsible wheelchairs, but they are not needing to be in a wheelchair 24 seven. They're able to, they have mobility. Um, the, the CPs have enough room in the suite that you're able to um, comfortably still store the chair within your suite. I mentioned those benches that are built into the walk-in showers um, in the CPs. Now we have walk-in showers in the deluxe suites and the petite suites as well, but you're not going to have that same sort of space. And the wheelchairs cannot be stored outside of the staterooms, the suites themselves. So you have to keep that in mind. The other factor is our staff can it cannot be dedicated to moving the person around the vessel. We do have high pile carpeting on throughout the ship and it can be quite difficult at times to push the guests along um, within that. And then of course, us as with every other river company, when they have that top deck, 
there is no elevator that goes to the top deck. Our ships do have an elevator that go between the two main floors. They would still have to collapse that wheelchair to get into that elevator to go between one floor to the other, and they still would have to take a, a stairwell up to the top deck um, should they want to go up outside of the um, ship itself. Okay, got it. And it looks like that was our last question. Well, that was quite easy, Anna. They were all good listeners. Yes, they were. You covered everything very well. Wonderful. Well, again, thank you so much for the time and giving us the ability to present to such a, a wide range of audience. And again, folks, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out after the fact. We'll be happy to respond. We'll be happy to put you in touch with your local SPDM and see how we can help you grow your Crystal River business. And you'll come back happy. Your guests will come back happy. And um, we'll all be a happy family. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I believe our last order of business is the gift card giveaway. Yes, the gift card giveaway. And I don't know if Olga, um, you want to announce it or if I should. If Olga doesn't answer, I think Anna, you should answer. You should. <laughs> I will go ahead. I'm going to do a small drum roll and our winner will be Jeffrey Miller. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Jeffrey Miller. Congratulations. And um, I will make sure that Crystal has your contact information for your fantastic prize. Congratulations, Jeffrey. And again, thanks everyone for your time. I know you guys have busy days, so we appreciate you taking the time to learn about Crystal River Cruises. Thank you. Have a fantastic rest of your week, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.